Why are we here? It's a question we've asked for the last 4,000 years and it still doesn't have an answer. At least, not until now. With the power of science, we're going to explain why humanity, the Earth, and the greater universe exist as they do today. All within... THREE MINUTES?! Humanity's existence is really the result of a long chain of lucky coincidences, a statistical improbability. However, from a physicist's perspective, our existence is not just an improbability, but an impossibility. Nothing at all should be here today, and that's because of something called baryonic symmetry. In nature, there are three fundamental symmetries which we abbreviate as C, P, and T. They describe how the basic laws of physics should be the same under some sort of change and can be combined together to form bigger symmetries. Mathematically, all symmetries are well known as anti-unitary operators, or functions that negate some property of one system when they're applied. The most important combination of these three symmetries is known as CPT symmetry, and it's able to describe baryonic matter, or the regular matter that you and I interact with on a daily basis. When you apply CPT symmetry as an anti-unitary operator to regular matter, however, it not only predicts the existence of antimatter, or the opposite of regular matter, but it also says that there should be equal amounts of the two. This is the theory of baryonic symmetry. However, if baryonic symmetry was valid, then the regular matter and antimatter would have already completely destroyed each other, leaving the universe empty. But here we are. Our very existence is a testament to the fact that this theory is wrong. But how come? How do you explain the conundrum of there being more matter than antimatter in the universe if the very fundamental laws of physics say that there should be equal amounts? Simple! Break the laws of physics! <coughs> okay, it's not so simple. In order to change the fundamental laws and consequently break baryonic symmetry, we're going to need some pretty extreme conditions. They need to be so extreme, in fact, that we can only find them at the beginning of the universe itself, fractions of a second after the Big Bang. During this time, one of the very important symmetries of nature, known as CP symmetry, was broken. This allowed for different parts of the universe to have different properties, like how hot or how cold they were. As a result, a small imbalance in the amount of matter and antimatter was also generated, known as a baryon number violation. These three parameters are what are known as the Sakharov conditions, prerequisites for baryogenesis, or an explanation of how matter was created. These first two conditions specifically allow for that final baryon number violation to grow in size to the huge matter and antimatter discrepancy that we see today. And there you go. In three minutes, we've managed to answer the age-old question, why are we here?